today's video we will have a closer look at the 104 buffer brush which is by Zoefa and at first I'm going to share a close-up then I'm also going to demonstrate you how you can use the brush and how you will get a beautiful blend. Now if you don't know me yet my name is Melissa van Dijk and I'm a professional makeup artist and I'm here to help you to work with this brush so that you will get most out of it. So let's get started. Now here you can see the Zoeva 104 buffer brush which comes in the rose gold version. This brush will cost you around 22 US dollars and it's mainly used to have an all over application which means the base makeup. Now as this is the rose gold version and it also has a flat surface you might notice that the handle isn't as long but the handle is a little bit thicker than usual brushes. Now if you're going to hold it in your hand then the main part when it comes to the weight will be here. This is the part where it will add you some weight and because the handle is shorter it's like right in the middle where you can also get a little bit of weight into your hand which will make it comfortable for any application. Now it also has a flat surface and it also has synthetic bristles. This is used to apply liquid cream or powder products. And because those are synthetic, you won't lose any product, but it just will mainly apply it on your face and it will give you a smooth and flawless finish. It's also recommended that you're going to use a circular motions at first so that you're getting rid of any lines, but for the last finish, you can also use dabbing motions and then you will end up with a natural looking finish. So let's move on to the application. Now before we are moving on to the application and if you are a subscriber and you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that you always should prepare your skin by cleansing it first and then also apply a suitable moisturizer. But also please keep in mind that not like new people can also watch my videos and they might not be aware of that they should prepare their skin before they're applying any makeup products. So please don't forget this step because it's very important. Now for today's foundation I'm going to use a liquid foundation which has a sheer to medium coverage and of course I'm going to blend it in with this brush so let's start with the application. So I have the foundation here on the palette and also the brush and I'm going to dig into the foundation and then what I like to do is I like to start off applying it on my forehead, cheeks, nose and chin area before I'm going to blend it into my skin. So I'm just going to lightly spread it out everywhere. And as you can see, if you're going to spread it out, it will give you lines. But then the magical part where you will get rid of any lines is by just using circular motions. Because this will make sure that you're going to blend in the product into the skin and you will, like, you will get rid of any lines. The only thing where you will get lines is if you're going to apply the product on your face, just because you want to make sure that you're going to spread it out first. And now I'm going to apply it evenly all over my face using circular motions. Now also don't forget your nose area. Especially this part because it's most of the time where like a lot of redness is happening. And then first you're going to spread it out. But then also on the nose you can use circular motions to get rid of any lines. You can also use it a little bit more light-handed. And then what they also do recommend, where I'm also agreeing with, is that if you want to give it the last finish, you can also use a tapping motion to make sure that you are going to blend in the product into the skin, rather just having it on top of the skin. And then you will end up with a beautiful natural blend. Now you just saw how easy it is to blend in the product and also how easy it is to work with the 104 buffer brush by Zoeva as it has also a flat surface which makes it easier to apply a product. As the surface is a little bit larger because they also have another brush which you can also use for foundation which is the 102 silk finish brush which has a round top. But the difference I personally believe is that because of the flat shape you will cover larger areas like quicker but with this one I would say you're getting closer to certain areas like your nose area under your eyes. 
So it just depends on also what you want to use it for because this is not only a liquid um, foundation brush, you can also use it for powder application, which will also give you a gorgeous finish. Now, of course, there are so many brushes on the market and I just wanted to teach you how you can use them in different ways and also how you will get the best finish out of them. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you liked this video. If you did so, don't forget to give me also a thumbs up. And if you still have any questions, you know that you can ask them as I'm here for you. Now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.